Good morning, everyone. This is Kathy, and welcome to Mini Kit Monday. Now, this week I chose the sketch up in my left hand corner that I provided in the Facebook group. This month I am hosting Mini Kit Monday. So, what I usually do is I get a gift card and, um, email you and send it out. So I hope you play along this month. And also playing along, of course, is Dolly and Becky. Please be sure to go check out their channels and see what they are doing this week. All right, so I went ahead. I am at my daughter's and I brought four shimmer brushes and my white gloss spray and my gilt, let's see. Yes, gilt, uh, gold spray. And I brought these fun stamps from Sue. Thank you so much. I love them, and I didn't have them. So I thought I would um, do some stamping on the background. Um, the shimmer brush that I used is grape, and I added some water to I just put a little dot on my acrylic block and then um, and then I added more water to give it that light color mixed media for the background. Now I'm going through and I'm using the grape in the ink pad and then the harbor. I wanted to try the colors on paper first. And before I stamp it right on my layout. So I like the way the grape looks on the white daisy. And I like the way the harbor looks. So I'm just going to um, ink my stamps up and then do some stamping. And I'm keeping in mind the sketch. They have some um, writing for the stamping, and I'm going to just use these circles. Now, I am going to put the photo on the right-hand side, so I'm just kind of um, eyeballing my photo there, and then there's some a frame and a tag that I'll be putting over on the left-hand side. So I kind of want to keep that in mind when I stamp. I love both of these colors. I I love all the colors in the Sawyer kit. I um I just think they're so pretty and it has a touch of purple and that's my favorite color. I do have a purple sweatshirt on in the photo, so that's kind of what I'm going off of, and the blue, um, Becky has a, it looks like black, it might be a dark gray, so the harbor, I thought, would go off of that color. Aren't we so cute? I'm sorry there's a glare on there, but we just have so much fun together. All right, I pre-cut, like I usually do off camera, um, I pre-cut some photo mounts. So now I'm trying to think of what I want to bring in as far as a title. I, I want to do something best friends or I really don't want to be, I don't want to use the moments, but so I'm just going to do BFF. I love that. I love that. So I'm, that's introducing more color to my layout. I bring just about every color into this layout. In the beginning, it's just going to be that soft, you know, purplish pink and, and then this blue. But now I'm getting in the green and the blue and the pink and some yellow. All right, so on the left-hand side in the sketch, it shows some flags hanging down. And that's what I am getting ready. I want to make my 
uh, banners somewhat bigger than my frame because they have a smaller frame but I took that out of the workshop kit it comes with the chipboard which you can buy um, separately I love that frame it brings in that little touch of that lavender purple to my page now here's all the banners trying to figure out how I want them and I kind of like it I, I kind of mess with it kind of fan them out just a little bit and I bring that one on top over and then I staple it want to make sure that holds together all right so I'm going to put my photo kind of at an angle and then the fun part now I didn't bring colored twine and I think it would look a lot better with color, but I used what I had at my daughter's house. So I am going to get my, uh, use my white twine and um, wrap it around. I had to stop the camera so that I could um, put my F and BFF straight. Okay, I start by gluing the twine on the back of my page. And then I am just wrapping my paper, as you can see. And I go ahead and do this on camera so that you can see. I know I'm wasting a lot of it, and, and I'm okay with that. Now, they have another, like, I'm pretty sure they have, like, a... Um, Mm, I don't know if they have a, another paper to outline the layout. I may do that, like, um, oh, maybe toward the end of the month. I might just, when I get home, get a cardstock to mat, match and then trim the layout down and then add a solid behind it. All right, so that's kind of how I want my um, strain, but I want to put a couple staples in just to help make it stay. It's all in the texture, not the color. All right, I want to tuck that, and I'm really sorry. I bet you, there you go, I was watching. I thought one of the videos, I tried to cover most of it up there. I got, so you don't have to stare at that big, <laughs> light shine all right i'm going to tuck the uh, banners underneath there but i have this um string the leftover so i'm just going to tie a little bow and leave it right there and that's what i'm going to tuck this in with it i want to get this glued on now, as I work on my layout, I decide that I needed something down in the bottom left-hand corner. So, I do add some stuff there. They don't have it in the sketch, but I felt like I needed three clusters. Even though it's kind of joined up top, but there's still separation, so I wanted another in threes not always do I do that but I just felt like it needed it I'm going to tuck this flower in and I want to use this sticker this sticker sticker says you're my fave and this one says all smiles and could get the photo glued on here and then I pull another sticker off the sticker sheet that says, Hey Girl. So if you have any best friends, this is the collection to play with. It's fun. It has all the best friend quotes. And yeah, I love it. I'm going to use this little label, although it's really hard to see the pink on there. 
I'd go ahead and use it anyway, but it gets covered up and you don't even see it. I'm going to pull in some of the die cuts that came with the Sawyer Workshop Kit. I'm going to tuck those in. And this little label came off the sticker sheet. And it has that same purple that I'm trying to carry over. And I want to bring in this lavender flower. I do end up sticking it right there by the bee. And here's where I want to stick those phrases down. All right. We're getting close. I love the stamping on the background. This little sticker says, hey girl, which I always use when I text Becky. Alrighty. Gonna, this was in the die cut or the workshop. So I'm just going to bring in that yellow over to the right by using this piece here. Just gonna tuck it, slide it right underneath my photo. All right, so I have this piece. Not for sure what to do with it. But I remember there being strips in the workshop kit when you punch out all of the um, oh, die cuts that you get in your workshop kit. You can use it however you want. I pulled these uh, leaves and the uh, floral pe pe uh, petals. <laughs> I'm going to use that to tie in this little in, in with the string. All right. Trying to straighten up that little tab. Put it on top. All right. I like that going to add some enamel dots and you probably think I'm almost done. <laughs> These are some that I threw in. I thought maybe they're not close to my heart, but there are some that were in my stash and I threw them in before I came to my daughter's. All right, I guess I am done with the layout. I add the stuff in the bottom left hand corner after I shut off the camera. I'm really sorry, but here are some close-ups. There's the bottom left. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.